Hey guys, how's it going? So almost exactly a year ago, I announced to you that a foreigner would be buying the United States' largest ammo manufacturer. And that deal's hit some bumps along the road in the last year. But now, and I'm going to say unfortunately now, this is our October surprise. There's always something going on. It appears that this deal's really close to being finalized, and it probably will be sold off so we're talking about vista outdoors which has two main categories of the company and apparently they're selling all of it off they have their sporting goods department which includes many brands that are adjacent to and within the firearms industry and that's their revelous group they also have their kinetic group which this is like major major suppliers of ammunition and components and that's going to include alliant powder one of the top powder suppliers in the U.S. CCI, same thing but for primers. We have the estate cartridge. Think about federal shotgun shells. As well as federal ammunition, which is like huge. If you guys haven't heard of federal ammo, probably haven't been in this game too long. But they sell ammo for self-defense, to police, civilians, training, practice, just everything you can think about. Also, in their hunting line, you've got Heavy Shot, which is shotgun shells, and Remington, who also has been a company that's been acquired several times over the last few years, decades, whatever, but also a huge ammunition supplier, as well as Spear, which is the bullets. Now, this is going to be purchased by a foreigner, the Czechoslovak Group, CSG, located in the Czech Republic, and this cites lots of concerns to me. I worry about people in the United States having enough ammo. I worry about national security issues. And that actually brings us to why this has been delayed so long. There's actually a United States group who has been attempting for almost a year now to purchase this company, to purchase this kinetic group, all of the ammunition stuff, citing things like, national security but we're getting really really close now to this deal being finalized the united states government has approved of the deal the board of directors of vista has approved of the deal the only thing left is they're going to need a shareholders vote i'm not a shareholder maybe some of you are the shareholders vote could stop this maybe but this isn't looking good i'm going to get into a report here from reuters and talk about what's going on here. But real quick, speaking of American companies that aren't trying to sell off to other countries, Blackout Coffee, they've just announced that their holiday blends are back for the year. I suggest the Winter Wonderland. I really like it. This is actually an empty bag because I drank mine, but now that it's available, I'm definitely going to get more. And I suggest you try Blackout Coffee, period, if you haven't yet. Great Second Amendment supporting company. And there is a link down in the description. If you use that link, it does help sponsor the channel. You guys are my supporters, and I appreciate it. And there's also a very generous 20% off one-time coupon for any purchase at Blackout Coffee. So make sure you check out the description. So this is a little bit technical and a little bit nerdy. That's why I told you guys the scoop right away. But maybe some of you want to know the deals, so we'll get through this because this is like Wall Street making deals with each other types of stuff. And this is an ammo conglomerate in the USA right now. This is the juggernaut. This is the biggest supplier. Just remember this when we talk about Vista Outdoors. So this is just this Friday, October 4th. Vista Outdoors agreed to sell itself in parts to two separate buyers for a total of 3.35 billion dollars tell me what you guys think of this in the description maybe some of you think it's a good thing um i think it's a bad thing if you want to know my opinion and not too happy about it we need to worry more about the united states right now than we do czech republic um ukraine other places yeah we need to take care of our own country because we're in trouble right now and i don't like this Total of $3.35 billion, including debt, after fending off a hostile suitor that pursued the sporting goods and ammunition maker for months. We're going to get to that. That's the group that tried to keep this in the United States. Vista struck a deal to sell its sporting goods unit, Revelist, to investment firm Strategic Value Partners for $1.1 billion, according to a statement seen by Reuters. It has also agreed to revise the terms of a previously agreed deal. 
See, this was previously agreed, like I reported before, but uh, there's been a company trying to fight this off. To sell its ammunition business, Kinetic, to Prague-based defense contractor, Czechoslovak Group, CSG. CSG has raised its offer for Kinetic by $75 million to $2.2 billion. The company, which had initially also agreed to buy a 7.5% stake in Revelis for $150 million, will no longer do so. That's the sporting goods lineup part of things. Non-ammunition, right? Taken together, the two deals value Vista at $45 per share, topping a rival $43 per share offer from MNC Capital, an investment firm led by former Vista board member Mark Gottfriston. MNC has repeatedly attempted to acquire Vista this year. Here's a quote. The board has worked tirelessly to deliver maximum value to its stockholders, and we are pleased to have reached this agreement with SVP and CSG, which helps us achieve that objective, Michael Callahan, chairman of Vista's board of directors, said in the statement. So they're worried about maximizing value for stockholders. And I know some of you guys out there are going to say that. Dude, that's their whole mission is just to make money for stockholders. Nothing else matters. Sound off in the comments if that's how you think about it. While I agree that is the goal of a business to make money for shareholders, oh man, there's just something about selling off the largest supplier of components for ammunition, the ammunition itself, to a foreign company that wants to focus on ammunition to Ukraine and other places. Again, let me know what you think. I want to hear you guys talk about this. The transaction has been approved by Vista's board of directors. The sale of Revelist is expected to close by January, subject to regulatory approvals and completion of the CSG deal. So this is the Czechoslovak group deal for the ammunition has to go through before the sporting goods deal will. The complex transaction would need to go to Vista's shareholders for a vote. That's going to be the final veto, from what I understand. I've been following this story for a year. It's complicated, but I think the shareholders are the only thing that can stop it at this point. The company's earlier deal with CSG received mixed recommendations from proxy advisory firms. Isn't that great that your ammo supply is subject to the proxy advisory firms? Like, I don't know, that like sends a chill down my spine just hearing like United States ammunition supply and proxy advisory firms and stuff yeah uh, glass lewis recommended that vista shareholders vote in favor of the proposed merger of the ammunition unit with csg while institutional shareholder services recommended a vote against the deal minnesota-based vista is the parent of federal ammunition and remington ammunition brands speaking of which these are lots of local jobs and i hope that they would keep manufacturing facilities here um, hopefully, and shout out to all of you who work for Vista, because I know not only do a lot of us buy ammo and components, but like these are major employers and a lot of people work there, right? While its outdoor products brands include Foresight Sports, Camelback, Bushnell Golf, and Sims Fishing. The months-long saga involving Vista and MNC has played out against the backdrop of rising demand for military supplies here we go, since the escalation of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in 2022. You know, you knew, didn't you, that Ukraine was going to come into this. Well, of course they would. That seems to be more important than Americans nowadays. Here's a quote. With this investment, we plan to put SVP's full operating resources network behind Revelis to help accelerate the success of this market leader, said David Geenberg, head of SVP's North America Corporate investment team. Now here's the back and forth. We're almost done here. The bidding war for Vista kicked off earlier this year with Vista rebuffing multiple offers from MNC sp uh, supporting the bid by CSG for Kinetic. In June, the CSG deal was cleared by the Committee on Foreign Investments in the United States, which reviews foreign investments over possible national security concerns. Colleyville, Texas-based MNC had argued that a transaction with CSG would pose a national security threat. In July, Vista launched a strategic review to explore all of its options. After failing to gather investor support for the CSG deal, the company was forced to postpone a shareholder's vote 
to approve a deal with CSG several times in recent months in its attempts to fight off MNC's repeated overtures. So this U.S. company kept trying to fight this deal off. It appears they're not able to at this point. In September, MNC submitted a revised offer worth $3.2 billion, including debt, and said it would partner with an unnamed private equity firm that would own the Revelist business to help finance its bid. Vista later separately engaged with the private equity firm, which sources said was Strategic Value Partners, on a deal for the sporting goods business. Vista's outdoor shares would have risen, which have risen about 35%. From the beginning of the year, closed at thirty nine eighty four on Friday, giving the company a market value of two point three three million. SVP, which was launched by investor Victor Kosla in two thousand one, has about nineteen billion in assets under management. Morgan Stanley advised Vista on the deal, while Molas advised the company's board. Goldman Sachs advised SVP, and J.P. Morgan advised CSG. And wow, those are some pretty powerful names that I just mentioned. Isn't it? Anyhow, it looks like we're up to a shareholders vote to decide whether the Vista Outdoors Ammunition and Components Division, this Connecticut group, whether it will be finalized to go to the Czechoslovak group, which is a foreign company, and we'll see what happens. Maybe the shareholders will stop this. Maybe they won't, but it appears that this year-long saga is finally nearly coming to an end. Speaking of a couple ammo companies that are like just here in the USA and actually don't sell the government contracts at all. Shout out to RPM. That's Rockville Precision Munitions. They're a small family business in Middle Tennessee making new refurbished custom ammunition. Check out my locals community for more information on them. Links down there in the description. Also AAC. I literally just got done traveling down to South Carolina and spent a day at AAC, that's America's Ammunition Company, owned by PSA. Watch them making tons of ammo. These guys can make over a million rounds a day. They don't have government contracts. They're not selling to foreigners. They're not selling to the United States military. They're not selling to the United States bureaucratic agencies. They're literally just selling ammo to you. So make sure you check them out as well on my Locals community. I have more information there. As well as Myriad Social, which is not just a censorship-free site, but it's on the blockchain and it's uncensorable. I'll put the link for that down in the description as well. And let me know what all of you think about all of this. I will see you guys here on YouTube as well as over on Locals again soon. Alright, thanks for watching and have a good one.